Okay, all right. Now, uh, we will be correcting the provisions that we know, class. If we are going to deal with T beams later, you should know the latest effective flange width calculations. So these are the BF calculations before, but in the latest code, these are the BF expressions. So many students, uh, well, even teachers are still using this one, but this is no longer being used in the board exam. The code provision, uh, the, the, the NSCP 2015 is now providing these three expressions. Okay, so the proof is this one. So you can find this one at page 362 of the NSCP 2015 PDF file. Uh, just try to interpret the, the statements in this uh, excerpt class. Huh? Okay, so for rectangular sections only, uh, these are the formulas then actually the disadvantage of using this formula is that when you use this formula you will be using the omega and what is this omega the tension reinforcement index it is given by this expression then you will be using this r then this formula but take note let us na not use this formulas anymore uh, actually these formulas are not really existing in our code uh, the, the, these formulas are are the old way of solving RCD problems so for rectangular sections we tend to rectangular sections so uh, the, se the, the structural member could be beams slabs, footings retaining walls so we are using this one but take note when you use steel ratios, your approach is for rectangular sections only. What we do, uh, what we use are AS instead of the ROS. Uh, when you use AS, you are using the general approach class. No? Um, okay. So... In NSCP 20, 2001 as well as 1992, the ROMAX, the AS max is given by this expression. But take note, these are no longer being used. Um, uh, it has been said in NSCP 2015, 2010, that for AS calculation, the strain of steel is 0 0.005. Actually, class, healing talaga ng NSCP ang strain. Ginagawa ko lang siyang stress for the reason that uh, in, in board exam problems as well as in real life, um, the available values are stresses. Though you can convert those into strains, uh, you, will, you will still exert effort. Um, okay, so if we already knew this one, uh, when Fs is 1000, C becomes C max. Then, so this is clear, okay? So, from this expression, that uh, this, this was derived from the strain diagram, if you remember. Uh, when Fs is 1000, C becomes C max. Then try to simplify this one. Cross multiply the C max, distribute 600, then add both sides uh, 600 plus C max because, plus in mathematics, there is no such thing as transpose. Okay, so simplify this becomes 1 6, then C max 600. Okay, simplify further, this will be the expression. So later, class, when we when we are going to calculate the AS max, I will not use this one, but instead I will use this one. So it direct ako dito class, no? So I will be no longer uh, showing the derivation of this three over eight of B. All right, okay. Now 
how am I going to how 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 am I have the how will I have the 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 a s max out of this c max equals three over eight of t well plus you know that if you have c you will have the a um how how are you going to have that one well when you multiply c by beta one right when you multiply c by beta one it becomes a max then summation of forces horizontal uh just imagine the free body diagram left equals right c max equals t max so for c 0.85 f prime c a max b assuming that the beam is rectangle then t max a stress times area so class kung max ang kaliwa max rin syempre ang kanan okay lang then why is why is that our stress still is fy uh, well the reason is fs is very large uh, it exceeded fy so if if fs is exceeding fy therefore the beam is uh, or the st th that's the still reinforcement yields and when still reinforcement yields the stress of steel should be fy not the fs okay okay so this is the general expression so later when we start solving this one we will be using this one automatically we will no longer show the derivation then multiply by beta 1 so from c max it is now a max then lagay mo dito but take note class if the beam is not a rectangular beam then this a times b will not be valid uh, gagawin natin itong geometry ulit so uh, we have a fo we, we, we will be having uh, a problem uh, for non-rectangular beams uh, well uh, I am showing this sections because some teachers are saying that that uh, in our board exam the beams are always rectangle but that the truth is uh, that the truth is uh, there are beams that are non-rectangle that are given in the board exam and the examples are these two kung may kakilala ka na nag board exam na ask them if they they studied this this kind of beams because they will tell you that these beams are being given in the board exam so if that is so then we cannot stick on this formula as well as on these formulas <laughs>